Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Flans. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's a man. Why I see the label? Why I, I see who? I seen when you, uh, when I had first dropped that ring, ding dong. That shit was crazy. Yeah, and yeah. we gonna talk about, we gonna talk about all that. Just say that when we rolling, we in Baton Rouge right now. What's going on, man? I don't know what the business is. Well, what's poppin'? How's everything going for you? Shit. I'm, I'm straight. I'm, you know, moving up every day. You know, you know what I... Man, like, I might as well go ahead and get me a house down here. Like, I'm always down here, man. Like, it's something, it's something crazy going on in the city. Like, I, I can't stay away. Shit, no. Like, shit, no. You got musical talent, but shit. I don't want to stay down here. I don't want to be down here. I feel that. I feel that. I'm just saying as far as, I'm just saying as far as talent, you feel me? But, yeah. like, like right now, I'm, well, I'm going to say this first. I need to, it's my fault, you know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of people be hitting us up. Sometimes I don't check, other people check, and they be like, all the time gone, but you been messing with change plans for a minute, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, you feel me? But we go we go get straight into it, man. Like, you know, bitch I ain't all right. That was like the first song, like when it happened like a year or something ago. Yeah. That's like they that kinda caught me, like you and your homies. Or whatever. You had that song and then you know, the ring ding dong, it's like what, two fifty? Yeah, yeah, you know, like shot to 30. 30, yeah. yeah. He, he shooting, he shooting I, everything. I was 30 the first video. You like, were? That bitch ain't really do shit, but I was the first video. Wow, like, yeah. that's crazy. And he, he, he taking off. Like, shit, shit. He taking off, and then, you know, I saw the record with um, Kylie. Yeah. That's your, that's your daughter? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? You, that bitch. You was doing that your bitch, thing. That bitch, like, that, that Kylie, man. That Kylie, that bitch. That's my favorite song. That was made like real time. Why is that? Why is your favorite song? Like, I don't know, like, Kylie just bring that emotion out of me, you feel me? I don't know, that just, Kylie just bring that emotion out of me. I don't know, that shit crazy. Like, yeah. I wrote that song, like, I ain't really write the song. I was on FaceTime my girl, me and my girl, and Kylie on FaceTime, boom. So I just go to my notes, you hear me? Write down how I feel about that shit and just happy. Mm -hmm. That shit, yeah, I love that shit though. I'm, so, is it, is it any other songs I'm missing? Because, I mean, I named about three. Man. Feel, feel me in, feel the views in, cause we, we named a few songs, but are there other songs that we missed? Uh, I just did, like, you know, I be trying to get some shit for the kids too, so I did like that little song with uh, my boy uh, Snoopy or whatever, mm -hmm. that, uh, it kind of went viral, that Fat Boy Anthem, like, I don't know if you heard it. I don't it. know if I said, I don't know. That Through the Night, When I Be Home. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was y'all. Yeah, that shit for the kids and shit, so like. A lot of shit, a lot of shit that I do, it be getting people attention. It's just that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I feel um, so. So you from BR? Yeah. What, what, what part of Baton Rouge are you from? Man, we from Dixie, you know what I mean? But like, I stay like, I stay with my grandma on Wine Day on 38. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That area is so shit. So, it's so, like, everybody, I already feel what the next question you go for no, the exit. No, I'm saying like, like how, like, like, what, and how old are you, you know? I'm 19, I just. You just turned 19? Yeah. Oh, y'all, yeah, yo. Shit, shit. Oh, y'all, yeah, yo. Like, how was it like growing up in your area? I was like, I ain't gonna lie. It was like, me and my cousins, you hear me? Like, ran my cousin. Nobody know that. Ran by my cousin, my first cousin. Mm -hmm. And, like, it was just like all us in the area. Like, you hear me? We was bad, you hear me? But I had ended up getting distance to my mama moved, you hear me? She moved, like, way in Baker, you hear me? Mm -hmm. So, you hear me? I was trying to focus on school and shit, but shit. What school you went to? I went to uh Baker. I went to Baker, but shit, shit still ain't work out. Yeah. I still, yeah, man, school shit still ain't work out. Fuck. So like that neighborhood, like you was good, like. I would say, my mama, my mama had, my mama got ten kids. My mama always was independent, so shit. There's a lot of shit that I wish I could, we could have did different. You know, I could have did different for her, but shit. At the end of the day, yeah, my mama always made a way. I don't know how, but she always made a way. Um, she, I ain't gonna lie, baby daddy, you know what I mean? Fuck. Mm -hmm. I feel, and, and, I mean, I say this too, like, you still young. So y'all can y'all can still foster a better relationship. You have time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get the childhood back, but moving forward, you know, y'all can make things yeah. how you want to. But I'm gonna I'm say this, man, like, like, what made you want to start doing music? Uh, to do see, music? I was doing music way before anybody out of WNC, but I wasn't doing music as WNC put up. Like, mm -hmm. I was doing music with my uh, people, my aunties singing shit, my auntie Jack and Neil. You know what I mean? And like, 
my uncle was like, my uncle was Nissy, like, nobody like, Nissy, my uncle. Wow, I ain't know that. Like, I yeah. know that Q, Q told me that Nissy made him start. That's how he started yeah. rapping. It was Nissy. Yeah, I, I, if you notice, like, I do a lot of metaphors in my rap, too. Mm -hmm. That's where I get that shit from, like, metaphors and shit. And shit, shit. I, shit, so shit. About, about what age did you, did you start doing it? I've been, like, I've been on stage because my daddy, he sing, but he, you know, he ain't into that. You know, gangster rap and shit. He he sink and shit. So I was doing shit like that, but it wasn't nothing major. I wasn't taking it serious. I was just doing this shit. When did you decide to take it serious? When I decided to take it serious, uh, one day at Ram House, wow, wow, everybody, we just at one time, we like fuck it. You hear me? Like little fucking with Big Brother shit. So like I like fuck it. I might well. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm talented. Everybody else talented. We might well put this shit together and be like fuck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit. That's how that shit I want to say this, man. Like, like WNC. Like, how how did y'all form that group? And and how many are y'all in there? Cause like every time I see, it's like a, a new a new member. Shit, uh, Shaq, a dude out Dixon Shaq had died. He was calling Ram and the Rick Crew. I wasn't really over that during that period of time. I wasn't really over that. You hear me? Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, you know, finna get no strikes off shit. I wasn't really over that during that time, you hear me? I had moved. But shit, Shaq had did that. Ram, Ram the really, Ram and uh, my big cousin Ken, he really like, they the ones created that shit. Like, before the rap and shit, they the ones really, Shaq gave us the name, but shit, Ram and Ken took it to a whole nother level. Ram, you know, they elevated that shit with that name, man. Because fucked up for real, though. Yeah, you fucked up. Oh yeah, like and like it seemed like oh, like right now like everybody it's not like everybody's just doing their own thing, but or oh, like are oh, y'all still a team? We gon' we gon' forever be a team. It just feel like to be honest, my pride too high. I ain't finna call nobody, ask for no feature. I why not? I mean, why hot? Carlos hot and see. And I was gonna mention this too, like you kind of you and you and Carlos got similar styles. I I I think you know how y'all have fun and stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, why not y'all just make like a mixtape or hop in each other's songs? Like we we you know what I'm saying? We we do that, but at the same time, I feel like it's like it's kind of better too if we all go our separate ways. Like, mm -hmm. cause all it takes is one of us to you know what I'm saying. I'd have taken one of us to get all the way up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if we all doing this shit here, this shit here, everybody doing it, you never know which one of them bitches might take out then. That's when the whole team, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I feel like I just don't want to eat out nobody's plate. That's me. So you want to just basically just just have your own image, your own style? Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather do that shit myself. Like, yeah. I'd rather make it myself. True, So. Why is he, what pool come from? How did you get that name? Man, I've been called pool since I was little, man. Yeah. Like, real talk, like, I've been called winning the pool. My little brother named Tigger. Winning the pool? I swear to God, my little brother named Tigger. <laughs> who, who gave it to y'all, like? My mom. My mama, she, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Shit. And, and, and it just came? Shit, shit. Winning the pool and Tigger. Shit, shit. That's kind of dope, though. <laughs> That's kind of dope, though. I want to say this, too, like, man, do you have anybody, like, even though you say your pride is up, and I said that, you know, you kind of remind me of Carlos. Y'all have similar styles or whatever. And I like he doing his thing too. Like, do you have anybody that influence you or help you in this music stuff? Do I have anybody influence me? Yeah. Anybody you look up to when it comes to this music only, stuff? Only, to be honest with you, the only person I really talk to, I could sit down and call about anything with the rap and shit. Is my girl. I don't call no nigga. I swear <laughs> to God. Like, I don't call no nigga, like, I, I call, like, Ram, like, Ram, that's, like, if, if before you talking about an artist, yeah. that's the only artist I really conversate with every day, like, on some other shit, yeah. you know what I mean? And my little brother Dale, but, you know, I'm saying as far as, like, really, you know, somebody that's really trying to elevate is Ram, you know what I mean? Me and Cuz talk about everything, yeah. shit. And I say this, too, I, didn't, I, I didn't saw you and Jay, sometimes you and Jay Lewis and Mister. Yeah. Like, like what's your relationship like? Oh uh, shit! Y'all be joked out on Instagram, all that. I be seeing all that. <laughs> Jay Lewis, Jay Lewis, my old lady, cousin, boyfriend. So you know how that is, you know.
No, he's he's a he. he hold on. Yo, oh, he's your old lady cousin boyfriend. Shit, shit. Oh, like, so and, your, like and your girl, and they like close, like close. Shit, I don't really know. I don't be, you know what I'm saying? I just be standing myself to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. Uh, but I ain't gonna lie, that bitch, that bitch Jay doing his shit. You hear me? That bitch turned up. That uh, here I go. I yeah. fuck with the man. Ain't that man turned up. Real talk. That boy, he, he been doing this thing. Like he, he been, he been really doing this thing. As far as go to the artist, that's 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 one person I you heard me I do some shit with too though. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's a lot of people I do some shit with, but a lot of niggas that I feel like it 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 wouldn't make sense to do some shit with though too. And since like the city the city of Baton Rouge is like it's like it's so it's so much talent. It's like it's like a new it's like a new guy every day. Like every day. Like what show? Like how do you feel about the overall music scene in the city? That shit, that shit, like that shit, good as a bitch though. Like, but I'm gonna be, I don't listen to rap. What you listen to? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I'm be real. I don't, like, I don't really listen to rap. Like, I write my songs without the beat. Mm -hmm. Like before, and then I find a beat that, that you know, I, mean? I get a beat that go with it. I like nigga play a beat. Oh, I got some shit in my phone to go with this. Mm -hmm. You know, I write without a beat. I don't, I don't know. I don't really listen to rap. You know, I mean, everybody got their own process, how they, you know, construct their music. I want to say this, man, like, for the people, whoever see this, no matter what it is, they can be all over the world or the country, whatever, if they ain't never heard your music before, like, what should they be expecting to hear when they when they listen to Pooh? Man, they gonna turn that shit on. Man, that dude fucked up, man. <laughs> Real time, they gonna be like, man, all right, I can say some shit like, I could be serious as a bitch. But the way I said, you gonna be like, you gonna be like, oh, that's raw, that's you know what I'm saying, that's unique. You hear me? It's funny, but I understand what he's saying. You hear me? Like, it be like that. Like, I say a lot of crazy stuff, but at the same time, it's it's serious. It's just a metaphor. Like that's why I write without the beat. I could I write poetry. I don't really write raps. I write poetry. I don't really, you know. Well, you since your since you say your your your, your rap style is kind of different. Do you feel like? People go put you in like their mumble rap category as far as like Lil Yachty's and all those guys, the Lil Pumps. Like you know, they it's a whole bunch of them, and they have a specific group of people like all oh, the mumble rappers. Do you feel like they go automatically throw you in that group? Shit, no, I don't. I ain't never listened to Lil Pump a day in my life. <laughs> I, I swear to God, yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. It's like a lot of niggas I don't listen to. I don't, fuck it, like real time. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't be knowing. I don't really listen to rap. Like I don't like. I mean, like the the per the the closest person I can relate to, two people, mm -hmm. uh, is Carlos, and I I fuck with that bitch funny Mike. Me and Mike went to school together. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like we went to Baker together and shit. Mm -hmm. I fuck with them bitches, him and Runic and shit. Like, mm -hmm. so. funny Mike doing his thing. He, he, yeah, that bitch turned up. He doing his thing. Shit, like, yeah. And he and he he keep rebranding himself. Can't too many people do that. What he's doing shit, because. Yeah. You can you can establish a name for yourself and it be stuck with you. But he funny Mike, he got this name, he got that name. Man, that bitch done went from twenty two, <laughs> funny Mike, yeah. man, this man here, yeah, crazy. Yeah. But every time though, every time though, every time he did that, there's something new to talk about him. That's that's helping him, that's elevating him. Mm -hmm. the, every time he switched it up, you know what I mean? That's some better shit for him. Then he uh went to Wild and Out, so shit. Yeah, know. he did do that. Like, he, he did. Oh, it's up with him. I feel like I feel like bro made it though. I feel like he made it. Yeah, he doing his thing. He, he most he most definitely doing his thing. All right. Would you? And speaking of that, like, would you ever sign? I mean, a lot of a lot of artists. I mean, I don't know what type of deals they all sign, but they they sign a few deals here and there. Would you ever sign? If it, if the opportunity presents itself. To be honest, like on some shit, the opportunity. Is presenting itself already, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm undecided. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's shit, you know, I gotta do for it, but shit, like, the, oppo the opportunity presented itself, like, real talk, like, mm -hmm. nobody never know that though. Mm -hmm. Cause I just be cool and I just be me, be myself. And shit, but the opportunity. And to be honest, you answer your question. Fuck it right, man. I was saying, man. <laughs> Fuck it right, man. My mama got 10 kids, you know what I mean? I got old lady. I got Kylie, man. I got different shit I got to look at, too. I can't just look at myself and be selfish. Because I feel like 
the people that I love the most, I got to look out for them too. True. You hear me? So like, I mean, I ain't going to sign no anything, but you know, I'm saying, you know, if the opportunity real and it presents itself, yeah, I got to take it.